The information warfare star shot is fundamental to defence. In World War II, pilots directly controlled their industrial machine. That is no longer the case. The way it works now is people issue commands to an information environment and that information environment controls the industrial age machine. So we've moved from a two-tier structure in the industrial age where you have a human environment and a physical environment to now in the information age, a three-tier structure where you have a human environment, an information environment and a physical environment. This has now led to a period of information warfare and the reason for that is the ability of that information layer in between the two to exert an effect on an opponent's human layer, uh, information layer and physical layer is quite pronounced and the reason for that is the information layer enables you to do things at far greater scale and at far greater speed than anything we've seen before. And as a consequence, uh, warfare is now being conducted both through and inside the information environment. This will involve everything from electronic engineers through to human scientists working together on a common solution. That will require innovation and the place to go to for a lot of that will be in academia. On the industry front, the purpose of Starshots is to develop capability that finds its way to the warfighter. And that means you need to be able to transition what you develop. Um, to do that, you need industry to be a key player and you need industry to be a player from the outset, to be in at the ground floor in order to make this happen. Information warfare in 10 years time uh, will probably be a fair bit different to the way it is now. Um, Firstly, we'll start developing policies and procedures that enable um, people to operate better uh, in the context of information warfare. Um, but the other part of this is we're going to have to bridge the human-machine divide. So we are going to need um, a lot of the theories and capabilities that are currently practiced by people, we're going to need to embed them inside the machines because the machines are going to have to do a lot of the heavy lifting in order to deal with the scale and to deal with the, the, the small time scales at which the information warfare activities occur. At the moment, we're in the middle of a COVID-19 crisis, and you can see the disruption that's causing. Imagine if our information environments were taken out. Uh, you would have uh, no electricity, no commerce, uh, no manufacturing, no shopping, uh, basically no society. Um, at the moment, we're, we're, we're tracking along as we are because we have those information environments up. So you can appreciate the extent of the, the threat here um, arising from uh, a potential degrading or loss of uh, information environments. Is Australia up to the challenge? Absolutely. Uh, we have the expertise, we have the ingenuity, and we have the character to pull this off.